hi guys so it is the start of um cycle two week three um i'm just gonna grab my coffee because we can't do this without a coffee ow that's really hot i didn't think this through do i ever think anything through so what i'm here to talk to you guys about today is um i got into the 13 stone region i'm so excited about that um, I mean, I'm just in there, like, I'm 13, 13, which I suppose is unlucky for some, but I'm super excited about it. Um, weighed myself this morning. So that is a loss of four stone, 1.3 pounds. I'm so excited. I can't believe I've actually done that. Um, I'm really proud of my body, actually. And so obviously with the excitement, that's really cool. But um, I'm also to want to talk to you about uh, what I'm calling instant diet karma <laughs> so um i have i don't have cheat days like i won't go a whole day and just be like i'm just gonna eat whatever the hell i want and blah 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 blah. i um will have like a cheat thing and what i found in my city in norwich is this little oriental market on the actual norwich market i don't know if you guys know about the norwich market it's um one of the biggest permanent outdoor markets in the UK and it is fantastic it's there's so many different things that you can get there but they've got this little oriental thing and they have these sweets called white rabbit and they're basically milky toffees I'm gonna put this down because this is really hot I need to wait until it gets cool <coughs> excuse me so I was like okay I will have a few of these and just be like yeah that'll be fine um it wasn't fine at all. The instant diet karma hit me like a train and it pulled out my, I've got a filling up here and it pulled out half of it. <laughs> um, so I don't know, you won't be able to see it and it'd be really great at five in the morning for me to go, ah, but yeah, it's right at the back. Um, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> like, it was a Sunday and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, why, why did I do this to myself? So I threw the rest in the bin, um, counted it as instant diet karma because I shouldn't be eating them anyway. Um, and I had to go into the city and get one of these. Now this is a little temporary filling, which I got from Boots. Now this tiny thing is nine pounds. So my one pound treat to myself ended up costing me a tenner. And on Tuesday next week, it's gonna cost me another 20 quid because I'm gonna to have to get the filling put back in. So if you guys ever think, oh my God, I can just eat whatever I want. No, you can't because instant diet karma will come and get you. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that's a thing that I did. Um, I also did my hair again. Um, now I've got this new hair dye. Um, I'm gonna link it down below. It's actually really, really good. Um, the bottle's about this big and it is 6.99. So it's actually cheaper than some of the other stuff that I found. <coughs> and the colour of it is pink pizzazz. Uh, it was a lot brighter when I put it on and obviously when my hair is dry you can probably see it but I always try and have a shower before I do these and I always have a shower in the morning because I have to put all of my eczema cream on which is this. Now this is a 500 gram tub of eczema cream which I will get through in two weeks so that's how often I have to put it on but um yeah so that was interesting. Um one thing I did want to talk about as well is I've seen a lot of people like kicking themselves in this diet. Please stop kicking yourself. It's the world around you is going to kick you as much or if not more than you kick yourself. So you need to give yourself a break. Um, I've seen a lot of people restarting, like they'll get through to like day two and then they'll go, oh, well, I'm so hungry that I need to eat everything. You don't. You just need to give yourself that mental time to understand I'm am I hungry am I bored or well, the biggest one is am I thirsty now thirst in the first few weeks feels a lot like hunger it represents itself in your body in the same manner so you'll find that you've got cravings you just want to eat something and you'll also find that after you have eaten something number one you're going to feel a lot worse than you did before and number two it's not actually gonna fix that craving so one thing i do recommend is having a large like i'm talking a beast bottle of water 
even flavoured water, like a lot of people don't worry about the citric acid because um, essentially Exante tells you not to have things with citric acid in it because it's going to kick you out of ketosis. Um, that only happens for some people, it's not for everyone. Um, but if you can't stand normal water, I mean I'm not a huge fan. I have <clears throat> the Volvic Sugar Free, I have the Strawberry. And I also purchase a lot, like to the point that the people actually think that I'm crazy in Aldi, um, of the Aldi own brand water because it's 39p for a bottle like this and I will drink, well, more like that. It's hard to do something like that. Um, I will drink two of those in a day. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Two of <laughs> those in a day. And I find that it does help. Um, so if I think, oh my God, I'm so hungry, I'll have some water first, wait about five or 10 minutes. If it's really difficult for you to think, oh my God, I have to sit here for five or 10 minutes and just think about food, set a timer on your phone or on your laptop or on your watch, whatever you're doing, and just distract yourself for that amount of time. Um, read a book, do a puzzle, do a drawing. Um, go clean your room, clean something that you've been putting off for ages. I mean, not only that way you can have a clean house but, um, and get your chores done, but by the end of it, you might actually find that you're not really thinking about the food as much. And you essentially have to trick your body out of that food, eat, want cycle. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that helps at all. Um, so yeah, the little celebration is, you know, into the 13s. I did it and also these are going. I can't believe these are actually going. That's really weird. Um, yeah, we've got the bad times because the fake teeth thing. I can't believe how tiny this is and this is nine quid. Um, yeah, and just take each, if you can't take each day as it comes, take each half an hour section. Um, for example, I mean, I actually got a delivery of the Exante items. Uh, the new stuff, I really must say, I like the matcha, um, but I like matcha anyway. I've got the milk tea, I'm a huge fan of bubble tea, so I'm looking forward to that. And I've got the Eaton mess, because I kind of wanted to try it, but I'm concerned that it's going to be too sweet. Um, little wrestling reference for you there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys a review once I've had all of them. Um, I didn't get the banana, because I friggin' hate bananas. I have since I was four and this is never going to change. I did get the caramel one as well because I want to see if it does taste like lotus or if it just tastes like the sort of caramel so I'll do a mini comparison and uh, what I might do as well is make the milk tea into ice lollies. Uh, I found making the shakes into ice lollies especially during the recent heat wave we just had was really helpful and I'm poking my nose because I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Yay! <coughs> it's hay fever so I'm really sorry um but yeah I wanted to give you guys a little update I can't believe week two start of cycle three um and I'm actually into the 13s I mean I'm just like I said just into the 13s but we're getting there and uh, I want you guys to do something for me <coughs> obviously get rid of my hay fever would be nice but um I want you to set me a goal um because I was thinking what goal can I set for myself for um december the 31st uh obviously this year has been a write-off for so many people and i really want to come out of it going i hit a main goal that wasn't just a goal that i made up arbitrarily in my head um and i was thinking well i can do a pound a week maybe i can do two oh is that pushing myself too much and blah, blah, blah. so you guys i want you to set me a weight loss goal and I will see if I can hit it. Um, if you comment down below what you'd like to see me lose, either in, as I say, a week, two weeks, three months, but with the, obviously the main goal being December 31st, and we'll do a little celebratory New Year's Day thing, hopefully, if I don't mess up completely. Um, I'll do a little update as well about my teeth, because apparently this entire year has been stay at home and go to the dentist, that's it. And uh, yeah, but yeah, if you guys aren't already and you'd like to be, please, please, please do subscribe. I love seeing your comments. Give this thing, this thing, this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And comment down below what you guys would like to see me lose. Um, I think a huge part of this diet is collaboration. We have to talk to each other. We have to support each other. 
and you guys make this diet so much more fun for me so i'll see you guys next week love you bye